water. Water is, water is essential for life. About 70% of the earth is covered in water. It is present in ocean, river, lakes, etc. Water also exists in air, in water vapor and the ground, ground water. Almost all activities are performed by us require water. If we know like drinking, bathing, uh, day to day household household activities and irrigating fields, generating electricity, industrial activities, etc. It is uh, necessary to drink pure water as impure water will make us ill. Rain is the purest form of natural water but rain can dissolve in some kind of impurities. What happens is the, the, uh, the rain is most pure, okay? It's so pure we can drink it but what happens is w uh, when it comes down or when it comes to the earth, the air which has some impurities, it gets mixed with the rain and so it makes the rain also impurity. For, so there are two types of impurities that is soluble impurities and insoluble impurities. Uh, soluble impurity, impurities are the impurities that uh, dissolve in water. So the these so if the if you have soluble impurities in in the water you can't usually see them you can't usually see them but so that uh, so that this impurity is hard to take out uh, like hard to notice at the first time now insoluble impurities are the impurities which can, which uh, do not dissolve in water they are they either float on the surface or settle in the water example sand mud oil also these are easier to notice as they don't mix to the water. And as they just settle up or down, and then we got separation of soluble impurities. The uh, evaporation. This is very simple. You just take salty water or sugary water. You just heat it so that uh, after some time, so only salt is left. Next is distillation. Uh, it is another another way, but uh, in the in the evaporate, it's uh, almost like evaporation. But in the evaporation, is what is there is uh, after in the last there will only be salt, uh, salt or whatever impurity was that only that would be present, and not the water. You cannot uh, access the water. But in the distillation, you need to like heat the water and. Whatever uh, whatever water vapor is, is there, na? so it will go into the water condenser. Then slowly it will uh, come into a into a container. So that will be pure water. So we have an Olympiad effect here. The solubility of water in increases with the temperature. With increase in temperature, if there is more temperature, so there will be more solubility. Separation of insoluble impurities. So Insoluble impurities are easy to notice, so easy we know that we need to separate. So the like the more the most common one is sedimentation and decanination. So what they will do is if there is a mud, uh, you can also try this. You should just take some mud and put it into the water or mud water basically. Then you what you should do is you just should leave it for some time. You should put it into the other other um, glass and then you should make sure that the sediment also does not flow. Only the clear water flows. Then you should go to filtration. What this filtration is, it acts like a tube and does not let any impurities pass through the paper. So you just take filter paper or sometimes they use gravel and sand. Sometimes they use some normal uh, cotton etc. You just put it into a funnel. Then you put the impure water and then whatever it is there, it will come, whatever insoluble impurities is there, it will come down. Usually what happens is they will do the decanination, sedimentation and then they will do the filtration so that it is uh, it is mm, it is more easier to remove all the water water treatment plant so in the water treatment plant is something that is more safe to do because it's done in a more uh, more uh, more nice process and the more mm, uh, reliable process so sedimentation as i told what is water is collected it is just like that but it's mm, but what they do is they just keep it in a big container I mean, they make sure that the sunlight will come it uh, it will uh, kill the harmful bacteria uh, chemical chemicals like alum are also added to st speed up the sedimentation Filtration. After the sedimentation, the water is filtered through a clean sand bed to remove all the final suspended. Chlorination. The water is then disinfected with small quantities of chlorine gas to kill the bacteria. Now it is now it is safe, so we can drink. But although the water supply to home is properly treated, but it's not very safe for drinking as it may have dissolved salt, uh, dissolved salt, dirt, and germs. 
so you can see here the the all the process of uh, uh, filtration chlorination etc is shown here so what uh, the what is the purification process so what the, uh, so what is that is well, while taking the water or like while we it's while we, it's getting supplied some bacteria or some dirt might be uh, entered so what we should do is we should do boiling so when you when it is boiled uh, then uh, when it is boiled it to make sure that all the germs get killed water purifier uh, the water purifier work on reverse osmosis process in this process what uh, in this process the water is pressed to Sem, uh, semi -per, semi permeable membrane or the filtering sheet which removes all the impurities it's a very effective process of water purification so some uh, in some houses you might have seen water purifiers uh, the water purifiers we are uh, this is a very reliable uh, uh, process so we usually use this chlorination chlorine tablets or potassium permanganate crystals can be added to water to kill the germs this is also reliable one but they don't we don't usually do this uh, uh, filtration filters are usually common in home contains one or two filter candles made up of clay these candles filter uh, filter removable and so uh, remove insoluble impurities it's the same filtration as i told in that uh, as i told in that they just put uh, it's almost like the same sedimentation what is water is stored uh, stored in a container it's like the same but the piece of alum is put in the water alum part get loaded uh, with suspended particles in the, in the water which makes it heavy in the bottom this process is called loading so what happens is alum this uh, this uh, alum this alum this substance what it does is it makes sure that the the whatever particles suspend particles which is uh, which is supposed to settle down it will make it heavy and which it will make it easier to settle down soil is the upper now we will start with soil soil is the uppermost layer of the earth surface a uh, uh, uppermost layer of the earth crust in which plants have grown is known as soil without soil there would not have been no plants on earth soil helps the plants to grow holding their roots firmly and also provides water essential nutrients to them soil is also home to number of animals and microorganisms there are um, three types of soil sandy soil it does not hold any moisture as it has big, big air spaces at between the soil particles we can see this in desert uh, and we can see this in desert and we can also see this in like uh, with these beach areas so what happen you can, you know you must have seen sand somewhere these are like very uh, uh, very uh, loose soil it does no is so water will all go away and then so it cannot hold other essential nutrition so it will also flow flow away to for this it needs regular addition of fertilizer clay and soil it is rich in nutrition it can hold a lot of moisture it has small or sometimes no air spaces but it forms hard lumps when it is wet it also develops cracks in hot weather causing harm to the roots of the plant so what happens uh, these clay and soil or uh, We, we you must have seen clay pots clay like these um, clay pots etc so they are rich in nutrition it can hold moisture and has some air spaces between them but it forms hard lumps when it is wet you can you must have seen clay soil but it forms cracks in hot weather causing harm to the roots of the plant so the plant growing in clay uh, soil what uh, what it does is um, um If the roots from roots which is down comes up and uh, this comes up this is for, uh, as it comes up it makes it easy, it makes it easier for air uh, to take the air and sometimes what happens like in banyan trees etc the roots comes from the above uh, above of the tree and thus it has these roots from above so it, it in this way it goes down to the soil and then it gets more uh, a uh, more nutrition composition of soil the soil consists of number of components example humus minerals water air and soil particles like gravel uh, sand clay etc mm, etc so uh, also other living organisms also live in here so uh, i'm sorry but i did not tell about loamy soil 
It can hold a adequate amount of moisture and and nutrition. It's a mixture of both shiny and clay soil, so it is best for the plant growth. Oh, uh, because usually in clay soil it it is like there is less air, uh, but more moisture. But in shiny soil there is more air and less uh, water, so it is it is the best for best for growing plants. Now we'll go to the composition of soil. The soil. consists of number of components numerous minerals air, air water etc uh, the living organisms like uh, earthworms snails insects and other microorganisms like bacteria fungi are also present present in the soil excuse me now we have an olympiad but here there are two points let's see them uh, earthworms are known as farmers friends they are buried deep in the soil and turn it may to make it loose they their movement helps to bring the nutrition that are present deeper in the soil to the upper soil layers this improves the fertility of soil and helps in soil aeration so they are what also what also they do is when you go when they go they make small holes which give for which let the air go in uh, so this also helps the plants to grow bacteria and fungi help in the complete breakdown of dead plants and animals this process re- re- releases the nutrition back in the soil thus enhancing fa- its fertility so whatever dead plants and animals it will have nutrition so when it uh, helps in the complete breakdown the whatever nutrition were there in them it will go to the soil uh, and the plants will grow soil formation it will pro- the soil will form because of the breaking down of rocks mm. when a uh, water wind and microorganisms like like some moss type things when they grow on them uh, they just break down so i so that also can uh, this process is called weathering formation of soil is very so slow and the continuous process takes thousands and thousands of years to complete soil profile the layer of soil is referred as the soil profile there are layers of horizon a b and c and the drop a Uh, a the horizon of the top soil b uh, uh b the horizon uh, or the sub soil a horizon which is the top soil and b horizon which is the sub soil c horizon or the uh, uh, bedrock we can see the a horizon usually it contains of or top soil it usually contains roots etc and and b horizon or sub soil it could sometimes have roots and plants may still grow here but it contains very less amount of organic matter but in the top soil there is a more and then in the bedrock uh, it contains the plant rocks which soil particles are formed uh, to, uh, due to erosion and weathering this water water is scarce in this layer but the rocks above are uh, to, like porous uh, porous and porous and what happens is there are no roots or no organic matter in this layer soil erosion what is soil erosion uh, the loss of fertile uh, fertile soil what ha- what happens is when there is um, um, when the water water or wind blows the fertile layer of soil above it so the loss of this fertile soil makes the land unsuitable for farming so and what is the causes of this soil erosion if you ask wind as i told when there is a lot of wind the top soil is blown away especially in desert areas so what happens in the desert areas is there will be formed of these small hill type structures uh, small hill type structures in desert uh, the sand from the down area or another hill type structure will go and make an other one as due to the wind as there is no trees to stop the wind uh and water if this is the most usual water and wind so what happens is in water uh what happens is whenever there is water flows or there like water is flowing through an area or there is like a, a, there is some type of flood etc what happens is that a layer of soil above it could just wash away the uh, fertile soil and this is very bad because water moving water like rivers from the hill also washes it away so this is very bad uh, as it uh, as it's the most usual uh, type of soil erosion then comes deforestation this happens because roots of trees hold the per- hold the particles together uh, if there is no holding particles together it is in their absence the soil becomes loose and the water is easily carried away by wind or water 
Overgrazing in animals is also resulting for in so soil erosion. Forest fire and poor farming methods is also causing uh, soil erosion. So in forest fire, what happens is the trees get down, like deforestation one. And another thing is um, the uh, ashes. It will also make the soil loose. So it will be loose. So soil ashes. It is when because uh, the formation of soil is very slow. It takes hundreds and hundreds of years to form an inch of thick layer of soil. So it is necessary we must protect the soil from getting eroded away. To pre prevent soil erosion, we must follow these practices. Apparent spacing means to plant more trees. Plant cover. Farmers must grow trees or hedges around the fields to play to break the flow of wind. So the, when the, when you are growing something, you must make sure. That you are growing some mm, trees also, or or like or or put some things which go grow grow high. So this makes sure that the the uh, fertile soil, the whatever fertile soil is that, uh, this fertile soil will the fertile soil won't grow away by wind or water. Uh, then comes terrace farming. This uh, this is usually in hilly areas. So, can the slope of hilly areas can be cut in these steps? You can see the terrace from here. This slows the flowing of water. Water. So, you know, so what happens is when the water just flows down, the the terrace farming slows the water, and the, so it makes sure that it's very slow. And the terrace farming usually has fertile soil. Embankments, building embankments. No, along the river banks to prevent soil erosion is uh, is very reliable. So you can see an embankment here. The uh, the side after the trees or the, when there is no structure there, that is the or when there is structure there, that is the water. So that bed type structure, that is the water. So this embankment is a quick raise like a hill or something. So it won't let the water come. Even if it comes, it has to come uh, after the flat line. So now let's go next. Excuse me. Yeah, now we'll go to self test two. So we should, uh, if we take a tray and fill it partially with soil, uh, forming a heap, keep this tray over the table. Switch on the fan. You will absorb that the soil is blown away uh, by wind. This activity demonstrates why. Mm -hmm. We all know that what wind causes. We all know that wind causes soil erosion. So when you do this, this is an activity to see that it causes soil erosion. We can also see that water causes soil erosion by doing the same thing, but rather than owning a fan, you can just put some water, uh, water in that from a tap. Soil erosion cannot be caused by um, a forestation. What is a forestation? Planting of trees. Cattle grazing means too much grazing also can cause sandstorm. When the wind happens, the all of, all the fertile soil or uh, which is sandstone it will remove all the fertile soil heavy rain when there is heavy rain it just gets washed away so the correct answer here is uh, b it is not caused by a forestation d which of the following uh, three which of the following type of soil is best suited for plants we know that a uh, sandy and clay are a uh, Sandy has more air space but less water and clay has more water but less air space. So it is better to use loamy. Insoluble impurities are separated by water by dash method. We know that insoluble impurities are not by evaporation or distillation. Evaporation or distillation is for soluble impurities. And uh, so we will be using filtration. Now, which of the following protects the soil from getting eroded away? Mm, plowing, overgrazing, uh, embankment, rainwater. We know that plowing, overgrazing and rainwater was not mentioned or won't help. So, embankments which will protect the soil from getting eroded away is the right answer.